It has been such a long time. Welcome back to a brand new video, everyone, where today we are playing the new Jaduth map. It's got a bunch of different stuff, parkour, escape, dropper-based stuff. I don't know what Castles is, but we got that too. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to start with that because this map has a similar feel to it like the Halloween map had. In fact, it looks like the Halloween map and it just got kind of reskinned to, uh, to be a Christmas map here. So should be really cool, should be really fun. And in this video, we obviously have a lot to talk about. One, yes, my hair is very long and I need a haircut, okay? It, it's just what it is. I will get one soon, but for now, we're rocking the 100T beanie, okay? It's fine, it's fine. Number two, where have I been, Justin? Like, what, what have you been doing? Have you just been showing you quit YouTube? What's going on there? So, for the eagle-eyed viewers on my channel, the people who watch a lot of my content, you might have been able to put two and two together, which by the way equals fish for those who don't know. And you might have realized that in my last couple of videos, I've been mentioning uh, jobs, job interviews, good things going, uh, etc., etc. And the very last video, as a matter of fact, uh, do I, do I want to go up more? I'll go up more. Why not? Let's see what we got going up here. A little secret. Genji! Oh, we got laser beam up here. Super easy secret to find. And I'm guessing we get some really awesome XP. What do we got? 6,000, okay. Um, but yeah, in my last video, I mentioned uh, the interview is going really well. And as it turns out, since I haven't uploaded in so long, you probably figured it out. I did get the job, so super exciting. It's a great feeling. I'm sure anyone who has gotten a job would understand. It's a great feeling to get the job that you've been looking for and uh, to have a job that it's just good. That's where I've been the last month. I've been really, really focusing on that job. Uh, is there a shop up here? I think there was the Halloween map. I think we're chilling for now. Oh, okay, that works, I guess. <laughs> Did not mean to mantle up there. And that does not mean I've quit YouTube. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, so it would seem like I've quit YouTube. And I've tried to keep you guys up to date via like my Discord or uh, my Twitter accounts. I'll have them both linked down below. I more or less use the Life of Justin AB one a little bit more often, so maybe follow that one if you want to see what's going on with my life, but either works fine. I have done YouTube as a job for like the last seven or <laughs> eight years of my life. Okay, that was really embarrassing. So having to, to make that switch from having YouTube be my job to something else is definitely a little jarring. And it's something that I have to get used to and I have to focus into a schedule. So for the time being, just bear with me. I, I would appreciate that. I'm trying to find the best um, rhythm, the best schedule to do both. Obviously, I'm prioritizing my job. That makes the most sense. I'm sure you would expect that. But I do want to upload videos because I still love making videos and I still love talking to the viewers that I still have. Uh, uh, Castle's done, fantastic, there we go, 500 XP, wow, thank you Jaduth, really appreciate that, epic. Um, but yeah, I, I love talking to the viewers that I have here, however many that may be. Again, I haven't uploaded in a month, so I'm expecting, if I would put a guess on how many views this video is going to get, I would say a thousand. If it gets more, I'll be honestly really shocked, so if it has more and you're watching this, drop me a comment saying, wow, Justin, you're shocked right now because I will be. It's just a simple case of it. So that's definitely the plan. It'll take me a little bit to, again, get into the rhythm of a schedule. It's not going to be like super daily or every other day or anything like that, but it'll it'll be videos at the very least. And especially once UEFN drops, which we'll get to later. That is a good thing that happened to me, getting the job. Super awesome, sweet, love it. That's great. Let's move on to a bad thing that happened to me recently. So I ordered a new PC from NZXT because that's, that's where my current PC is from. And uh, I thought it was solid and I wanted to upgrade my computer, get a more future proof thing, make it a lot better, get a bigger SSD, you know, get 32 gigs of RAM, all of the goodness that the PC people out there would understand. And it was very, very expensive. I ordered it at the very beginning of December and I didn't get it until two days before Christmas, which is already a little annoying, but I get it, you know, I understand, I suppose. But couple that with the fact that when I turn the computer on, I kid you not, the very, very first thing that happened to me was a blue screen. They have no quality control. It is, it is honestly quite sad that they have such little quality control that they didn't even turn the computer on right? I was happy with my current NZXT. It, it, it was fine. It's not the best thing in the world, but it got the job done. But now I am disappointed. 
I feel like I'm a father, and NZX sees the child, and they are just not living up to their potential. And it's honestly very frustrating. And eliminate zombies to earn gold. Okay, yeah, this was 100% just the Halloween map reskin because Christmas zombies, I don't know, man. I don't know about the Christmas zombies. How do I get out of here? I need five gold. Anyways, so yeah, we had blue screens off of that. I'm talking like a ton. It, it, it was difficult. Eventually, eventually, I finally got past it. Um, at this point, I'd already sent in a support ticket. Uh, given the time, again, I understand. I also, I like to give the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's Christmas, right? They're not, they're not around. Oh my God, <laughs> that was scary. So I assumed I wasn't gonna get a response. So I took matters into my own hand as I'm a little tech savvy and I have a lot of friends who are very, very tech savvy, IT savvy, all of that. And we eventually stopped the blue screening, which was fantastic, that was solid. New issue arises, all of my games crash. Valorant, Call of Duty, Fortnite, which is very important to have Fortnite, um, not crash, it's very, very important for me, but they were all crashing. We literally spent, I think, seven hours in a row just trouble, oh my god, it's so annoying. Uh, just troubleshooting, trying to figure out what it could be, updating drivers, rolling back things, un uninstalling this, installing that, fixing this, fixing that, and we just never got anywhere with it. I, <laughs> to this day, I still have no idea why it's doing it because it's still doing it, it's still crashing. I could have dealt with it. Fortnite wasn't crashing that much and it ran incredibly smooth. I'm talking like max settings. I was getting a lot of FPS. It was kind of fantastic. But new issue arises. I know, crazy story going on here. The monitors, they just stopped working. At this point, I'm pretty sure it's, it's a GPU issue, which is extra annoying because the GPU I ordered I wasn't in stock by the time they finally decided to give me my PC and they replaced it with a different GPU, which I'm guessing is this trash one that I have. It's still a 3070, but this one is broken. I don't know, man, I have no idea. Because for whatever reason, again, the monitors, they just simply don't work. And then the one monitor that finally started to work is capped at 64 Hertz for some reason. I have 144 Hertz monitors. I have display four cables. They work fine on this PC. I literally have no idea. It is incredibly frustrating. Um, I described it to my friend that I basically have a $3,000 pile of trash to look at Twitter because that's what it is. At this point, I had finally gotten a response back from NZXT. It didn't really help at all. It, it did basically nothing. It was a blue screen problem. We already fixed that. Um, I should probably read this in really fast. A bear is looking for his honey. Find the honey for him and unlock the gate by finding the correct lever. Isn't this the exact same thing I did in the Halloween map? I got honey, right? Either way, I mean, it was a fun map then. It's a fun map now. Oh, I remember. I think I instantly got the lever right in, in the Halloween one. Not the case in this one. Well, we found the bear, so that's good. I'll keep this door. Well, I'm going to keep them all open, but that's easy to remember. Um, so yeah, regardless, I've got support tickets in, in the uh, in the way. It's going to be that honey, baby. And I'm just hoping to honestly return the PC and get my money back because this PC is running fine enough to not make me want to deal with this again. I literally, the amount of issues that I had with NZXT right now, it's just staggering. And it really all stems from them having no quality control. It's just absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. I'm a pretty positive person overall, but... That was just very, very frustrating, as you can probably tell, as my job uh, kind of requires a really good PC. Next level, let's get it right here. So all in all, uh, we had one really, really, really good thing. It definitely outweighs the bad thing, but the bad thing is still kind of annoying. Find all three items hidden around the area, then start a fire with them. So we're looking for just like six, uh, a rock, and some explosive residue. I'm gonna start doing the parkour because I'm guessing something else has to be near the gingerbread men of doom. Uh, yep, there we go. There's the explosive residue for one. Oh, there's a very easy way to get up there. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a lot of parkour. Nope. You can just simply walk. Maybe there's a jump I can get to. Oh, behind the gingies, man. They're protecting the coal. Okay, that is everything we need. Let's just quickly go hop over here, get to the next level. I think there's only three in the escape section, so we should be good to go right there. Start the fire and take me to the final escape level. Level or room three of three. Find a way to escape this room. I mean, good hint. It's pretty obvious stuff right there. Appreciate you, Jaduth. Usually I'm pretty fast on this. I mean, I was basically only doing escape rooms at the end of my tenure last year because it is a new year. So again, by the way, happy new year, happy holidays. Hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it may be. 
and I hope the start of your 2023 was really, really solid. Even with the bad uh, Juju Magumbo I've had, it's still been a solid start. There's a lot else going on in my life, which eventually I'll make a video on. You'll definitely notice them eventually, but uh, for now, we will leave that for a future video and just find a way out of here. Where is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, there we go, we got there, man. You know, it took me a, quite a while, but we got there. We always do, and last, but certainly not least, we have the dropper. Five levels, and I guarantee you I will flawless all of them. Check this out. First one going down, we see the tire. Super easy candy cane dropper, boom, done. One out of five. Let's see if we can literally flawless all of them. I would be mildly impressed with myself, but I am the dropper master. You guys know back in the day, Kenny and I would just rock the droppers all the live long day. And it was a beautiful sight to see. It's too easy, man. It's too easy. What they're spawning? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, baby, that's three for three, right? We are on. Oh, we're so close to flawlessing it, guys. If you have enjoyed the video so far, definitely drop a like. I'd appreciate that. More videos to come soon. Oh, you gotta drop a like if we flawless this last one right here, man. Will the nerves get to me? Here we go. Go, go, go. Oh, God. We're good. We're good. Yes, we got all five droppers completely flawless. Super easy. Guys, if you did enjoy that, definitely, again, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and again... Coming here in the future, you will learn what I'm doing, where you can find more content from me throughout the different social platforms out there. And I appreciate everyone watching. But uh, other than that, I'll talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. See you soon.